Hey guys, Gabriel from Renegade Blasters here. Today we're going to be looking at the classic M4 LV08 Viper. Now, for a lot of you guys, I'm sure you're very familiar with this. This has been out now for about a year, but it is still uh, an awesome performer. It performs just as well as some of the, some of the new ones. Um, and it was the first, as far as I know, the first gel blaster to, to do 15 rounds a second, which was just insane. Um, it has been out for about a year now, and you know when when this was released, it was it was crazy popular. It was just uh, demand outweighed supply. So that's what that's what we're looking at. Um, it's a nice little unit, got plenty of accessories, and pretty cool right out of the box. I mean, the design of this is is pretty awesome. I'm not sure how well you can see now because it seems a little bit dark. I am in the shadow. Um, part of the building so we'll put it together and we'll give you a look see what it's what it's like how can I get this out there we go they do pack them in tight so nice cool little barrel there rails on top and bottom although I'm sure you can attach them to the side also uh, it's just got a nice aggressive kind of look to it um, it looks like a snake or a mouth of some sort with teeth coming at you, so that's cool. Tip is removable. It only has a, a plastic barrel, but nothing had alloy barrels back in the early days, so no surprise there. How does that go back? But again, like with many others, this will take upgrades and take them well. Um, the main unit, I'm going to get this out. Packed in tight. The main unit, pretty light. It's got, I mean, it's light on its own, I guess. Uh, it's got a cool little LCD, LED, whatever you want to call it, uh, voltmeter. So that's cool. Uh, on and off switch, no semi or full fire or auto fire or anything like that. It's just on and off, which still good. Um, pull that back to prime. And your battery, in this case, goes in here, which we'll get to in a moment. So that goes on there like that. And then you've got your stock. If I can get that out. Stock is a solid unit. I mean, it's solid for its time and still solid today. Uh, extendable. And also has the neck riser, which, uh, which does go up. So that, that's really cool. Uh, good for comfort. A nice little, oh, sliding off. A nice little way to set it up. And that just clips on the back here, like so. So it is a big unit compared to some of the, uh, the newer ones. This is it's actually quite long. As you can see, it's quite long, but that's not a, a bad thing entirely. Yeah, there's just detail on top of detail on top of detail with this one. Um, definitely different than some of the newer ones, and it's still got style, it's still got class, and it still performs to... to to you know stand up to some of the new releases we just try and get the mag out there we go wrong way there mag loads in there nicely it goes up a fair bit but and all together, it's pretty cool. And it's so big it doesn't fit in the frame of the camera. So what does it come with? Well, let's have a look. 
you've got a bottle of already made gel balls and with this one comes with all your accessories in this box so you kind of just pour them out and that's it okay so first of all it comes with a 7.4 volt lipo battery nice touch um, it will take an 11 volt, no worries at all. This will run on 11 volts all day long. Comes with a pack of uh, gel balls. Maybe I think 5,000 there. In this case, some rail accessories and some of the, the clips and hooks for your uh, for your strap. Looks like a couple other things in there. You got your scope. Which does add to the look when you when you put that on top. It's pretty cool. I mean that's pretty cool right there. Already changes the look of it. And you've got this uh, angled forward grip, which once is on, you or you can also it also unfolds as a stand. So you just put that on like that. Now that's it's kind of stuck in one position. You can hold it, you can shoot, uh, and that's cool. But it also folds down and splits. So now you've got a stand. And that uh, I haven't seen on many blasters. Especially cool for something that's, you know, been out for a while. So construction-wise, it's definitely a solid unit. It's not cheap and flimsy. Uh, it is a little bit light, but the stock is still kind of solid and heavy. We'll definitely take upgrades, we'll definitely take modifications, alloy, barrels, batteries, uh, internals. We'll take them, no worries. Also come with protective sunglasses or protective glasses, safety glasses, and your battery charger. So we'll connect the battery to this thing, take it down to our range, and see how it performs. So, very easy to fit the battery in this one. Done. If I flick it on, you should see the voltmeter right now reading 7.63, 7.62. It's kind of switching between them. You can hear the, uh, the primer there. So there you have it, awesome unit, and uh, we'll go down and test it out now. Now in this case, um, the little flap is just there on the mag, and it's good size, easy to open, good size. I've seen some other ones that are a little bit tricky to open, especially if you're out in the, in the field playing games. And it's getting dark or something, you, you fumble around a bit. So very easy to open, very easy to load. Holds quite a few rounds because it's it's a decent size, decent thickness. And now we'll see how that goes. Prime it first. You can hear the primer. There we go. That's ready to go now. Now we are at our makeshift uh, target or our, our range in the back and that's our makeshift target for now till I get a proper one in. Uh, we are at 18 meters, there is the measuring stick. So 18 meters, we'll see how it goes performance wise, um, accuracy, distance. It's kind of going all over the place. Let's try that again. Well, something's not right with that. Nope. Sounds like the gears are going on it. 